First up, three hockey dads from Calgary looking to make a power play in the den. Uh -huh. I smell something hockey related. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, Dragons. We're Raven Hockey. We're three hockey dads from Calgary, Alberta. My name's Guillermo Salazar. Sean Riley. And I'm Dan Pilling. We're here to ask for $450,000 for 20% of our company. Dragons, hockey sticks manufacturers have been ignoring junior sticks and younger kids for years. They make really great looking junior sticks, but they don't actually fit most kids. We've brought our kids here today to represent the junior hockey stick market. Come on out, guys. Oh, got a gang here. Whoa! Mm -hmm. They're looking hey guys. tough. Hi, wow. guys. These high powered athletes, aged Aww, six to 13 so years old, weighing 40 to 120 pounds, all wear different size skates, different size shin pads, pants, elbow pads, shoulder pads, and gloves. And before Raven Hockey came along, they were all buying the same hockey stick and cutting it down to fit. That's where Raven Hockey comes in. There you go. Oh. Ah, there you go. Raven hockey sticks are designed with growing kids in mind. They've created a color-coded system to make it easy for parents to buy the right fit. With Raven hockey, we've designed four sticks at four different lengths and flex ratings and a simple chart so that mom and dad can find the exact stick that will fit their young superstar. Why don't you pick a stick that fits and get rid of the one that doesn't? <laughs> that Dramatic. seems to fit better, doesn't it? Would one of you like to try a flex demo to see the difference? Sure, I'll see it. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so sorry, I'm not a hockey mom. What does the flex number mean? So the flex rating of a stick is the, the amount of pounds of pressure required to flex the stick oh, by an inch. Oh, okay. So you Got load it. your power into the stick so you can get more kick when you shoot. This is a one from the store that's been, that's been cut down. Yeah. And it's fairly stiff. stiff. Agreed. Now, here's the righty. Now, one, two, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah not good. so far, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Top corner, top shelf. <laughs> there you go. That's a great stick. Perfect transfer. Guys, why don't you each go yeah. take a stick to the dragon? Yeah. 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 for everybody. Yeah. What, what's what's the coating on much. the outside? Thank Thanks, you. What buddy. You How you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Just a powder coated matte finish yeah. grip. Oh, it's got a nice hand feel. Thank you. Yeah, powder coated grip, I said. Powder coated grip. What is the retail price of these? So they retail from 115 to 160. Oh wow, that's price cheap. Point. Good price point. But does a kid really need a stick this fancy to learn to play hockey? Yeah, this is not a fancy stick. If you get the four and five hundred dollar sticks, and Jim, the four and five hundred dollar sticks don't come in that size. No, and, and the, the other thing is that they, they don't need that stick. Uh, what are your sales? So we're a two-year-old company. Year one, we sold 3,500 sticks. That's over 200 thousand dollars of sales. That's over 300 3,500 sticks. Year two, we sold 7,500 sticks for $500,000. Next year, we're projecting 30,000 sticks for $2.25 million. That's a big reach going from there we've to already wow. sold, We've already sold 7,000 sticks for next year. Where about to you in now? Source for Sports, Sports Excellence, and a number of other independent stores. Okay. So why don't the big guys, CCM and all the other guys, do this? We'll compete with the big guys because we've learned over the past five years of doing I this. I know you want to compete with the big guys, but you just don't have the money to compete there, with the big guys. there's two ways sticks are built. Didn't someone tell you that once? They did. Ah, good they answer. They did tell me that once. Good answer. <laughs> answer. I love that. They, they, can Finally. I, can I answer? <laughs> are you done? Are you she guys done? She very fair answer. Yes. <laughs> So there's 700 independent hockey store retailers around North America looking for alternatives. They can be bullied around by the big guys and they don't like that. And that's why we chose the independent chain and not the big chains. And there's also- That's the answer. That's exactly the answer. Well, Dragons, what do you think? What's the 450 for? So the 450 is to expand uh, we're going to need more molds, inventory. inventory. We have 200 stores that are waiting to come online. We've had to say, we've had to hold back. I can go first here. I'm, uh, I'm so impressed with what you guys did. I think, though, um, there's just not enough of a competitive advantage, and it's too much risk for me, so I'm out. Um, I like what you've done. I think you've done an excellent job on the branding, the coloration, the way the stick feels. You've gotten good distribution, good sales. 
your valuation's high, mm. um, and your ask is big. I'm gonna be out on this one. Go ahead, Jim. You're the you're the hockey guy here. What do you think? You know, you've hit the market, the right space in my mind. You got the hundred to hundred and fifty dollar stick. That's back to what it should be. Hockey's so expensive as it is. How many partners you got in? Just the three of you guys? Just the three of Just us. Three of us yeah. We started our company with eight thousand dollars. Wow. We have no debt. Whew. Um, You know, I'm going to ask you to come back next year. And I'm going to be out this year. But you need a loan more than you need anything. That's all you need. You don't need a partner. We need a coach. There's still other dragons. I mean, if he said he's out, you should probably <laughs> yeah, start yeah, selling this way. Um, I think you guys are right on track with going with the small independents and not the big box to start out. That's how I started my business, and you are one of the few who come in with the right answer. But I do have a little bit of an issue with the valuation. So $450,000 for 33% is what I would offer you. Um, I'm going to offer you $500,000, so slightly more, for 10% royalty until I get all my $500,000 back. I'll then revert back to 10% equity versus a 33% equity stake. Manjeet, we really appreciate your offer. We think that the offer devalues the company too much based on sales practically booked for next year. Until it was a PO in hand as an investor, you know. I can appreciate your position. I, I yeah. respect that. Weck, we're pumped. Let's make a deal. Ah, I love All the right. stick. I'm going to take two of my twins. Definitely. Fantastic. Thank you. What a great thing. It's a fantastic Thank you product. so much. It's great to be part of the hockey Thank dads. Here's I won as well. All right. Take care, guys. Right. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much, you, everyone. Cheers. Dad. Go Flames. Yeah. Go Flames. Exactly. Go Flames. Exactly. Go flames. Good you. job. Good job. Yeah. He shoots, he scores. He shoots, he scores. <laughs> Our next entrepreneurs are former teammates from Hamilton, Ontario and Vancouver, BC, looking for a dragon to support their web-based business. Hello, dragons. My name is Dustin Sprout. I'm Kyle Hagel. Together, we co-founded our company, Schnarp Talkie, and we're here to offer you 10% equity in our company in return for an investment of $100,000. Kyle and I met while we were playing hockey together at Princeton University, and Kyle continues to play for the Montreal Canadiens farm team in Hamilton. Um, Nikki, Hi, Dragon. could you help get the Dragons uh, in the spirit of the game a little bit? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Dustin and Kyle have created a mobile app and hope a lively demonstration will show the Dragons how they can connect fans to their favorite hockey players through social networking. And so now, now you're in the spirit. You're passionate hockey fans. You got your face painted. You're, you're spending thousands of dollars on season tickets every year to follow your team. What is it that you want? What is it you really want? You want to be part of a community. You want to belong. You want to feel like you're part of the team. And that's what we can do with our mobile application, Schnarp Talkie, which is in the App Store now and connects you to the pro hockey players. So if you got a guy on your team, like, for example, uh, Bruce Croxon goes out and scores a big third-period goal. Naturally. Come on out here, Bruce, for Just one did. second. Bruce, he scores a, scores a big goal here in the third period. We say, yeah. hey, yeah, good, good, job, right. good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Now, what's going to happen after this is that Bruce is going to be the first guy in line who's going to skate by the bench and give everybody hey. a pound. Yeah. Like, have you ever seen a guy this cocky after scoring a goal? He's a true hey, hot dog. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Go, Croxy, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so, hero again. And so now what we do, what we do at Schnarp Hockey is we take you, the fan, and we put you right at the end of that bench and make you feel like a part of the team. So let me show you how it works here. We can type uh, Montreal Canadiens into our search engine here. It brings up the players on the team. And then uh, you can actually navigate to your favorite player. Like, for example, Brendan Gallagher. This is a guy who I played with this year yeah. before he got called up to the show. And uh, he's actually an active user on Schnarp. So we can select Galley, see his uh, season uh, statistics. We can see what he's doing on Twitter. We can see if he scored a goal or had any recent highlights. But here's where Schnarp really shines. If Galley has done something outstanding out there on the ice, if you like the looks of that, you can send Galley a pound. 
and you can attach a message to that. And if players are verified on our app, they'll actually receive those messages and at times respond in turn. And we've got several testimonials where we've been operating and they say this is an unbelievable experience. Can I get the highlight of the goal in video? You can also get the highlight of the goal, absolutely. But what we really want to focus on is this interactive feature because this is what makes the fan feel like he's a part totally. of the team. So. You know, it's so, funny, I've seen a lot of, a lot of Digi ideas now that are taking advantage of the fact that there's information, but it's in many different places, and then bringing it together in one convenient spot. You exactly, know, because I Bruce. could follow them on Twitter, I could go to the Habs homepage and get the information. There's a, n a number of places I could go separately to get what you're talking about, but tough to get it all in one spot. Exactly, so, and as a result, We've been live in the App Store now for six months. We have 10,000 users, haven't paid a dime for any paid advertising. 70 NHLers using the application, 250 pro hockey players in total are using the application. What do you mean using the application? Because they that have to give them permission That means to they're, they're verified them. on the application, so in the same sort of way that you get verified on Twitter, they're on the application. They're some of our heaviest users are pro hockey players. Okay, now boys, how do we make money? Okay, what is really exciting, the most exciting thing to happen to us recently is conversation we've had with NHL teams. So NHL teams absolutely love our product. One is because it's engaging, particularly to the younger demographic. Second is because it leverages the players, their greatest asset, and gets them generating content, which is what NHL teams are all looking for right now is content. But you put a value on this of a million dollars. You've Absolutely. made no money. Yeah, we're, we're right at and this point Princeton where we're ready to, Each team that we sign up is going to be able to bring 200,000 active fans to the application. So what do you think cash flow will be per team a year from now? We'll be able to get one dollar out of every active fan. We'll easily be able to sign up five teams, which will get us one million dollars in revenue. Where do you come up with the figure two hundred thousand? Every team has, on average, five hundred thousand Facebook fans, and they have two hundred thousand users of their various mobile devices. Teams are telling us that they can sell us the sponsors in a heartbeat. So that's where your revenue is going to come so from. So we're going like to come. Sponsor? Essentially, the team, the the money will come through sponsors. It'll flow through the teams. You know, I see a lot of digital deals in here and elsewhere. You actually have a little fence you can put around this thing and protect it. It is a good idea. I think you're right. What are we doing? I think the valuation's challenging. It is. Uh, I'll start the bidding. Okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna have a lot of competition from the digital guy down there and the hockey guy, et cetera, but I will give you the 100,000 uh, for 12.5%. Bruce? I'll give you the 100,000 for 20%. But in addition to the money, um, I will bring, I'll cut your tech costs in half for, de for future development. And I've got a multi-million dollar idea for uh, the NHLPA that could very easily go off of this platform. I would contribute that intellectual property to this idea and work together with you guys to build an exit and hopefully one day exit this thing. They're going to own 80% of your idea, then that's, that's, you're okay with that? I'm fine with it, yeah. It's better than not seeing the light of day. Bruce, do you want a partner? Yeah. I'll go in with 25. So, with, uh, so, we're so talking the new offer, the offer is 25% is for 100 grand, but you get Jim and I, and he's very well connected at the team level. Well, I'll throw an offer in here just to make it interesting. Okay. All right. I'll give you the 100K for 30%, but I'll guarantee the NBA. Guarantee the NBA. Guarantee. You guarantee it? You don't have guarantee. to take my deal if, you don't, if I don't bring you the NBA. The whole league. Like, same thing you've done in hockey, you'll do in basketball. How can you guarantee every, every, that? I'm guaranteeing it, otherwise I don't have to take my deal. Never seen offers like this. You've got mystery ideas from the far end, you've got guarantees <laughs> of the NBA. Oh, so I'll, there I'll, you go. I'll go with him on a just we'll straight, The one straight, thing I will say is that deal. if Bruce says he has a very good idea and he's going to put yeah. it in, he's a man of his word, he has a very good idea. Can you, why don't you guys go yeah, in the back gonna, and let us talk? We'll take a moment, okay? okay. Thank you. Go dog it over. Why don't we just do more cash and then ask for a little bit more, like a, a better valuation, like go at the 800? There's too, way too much uncertainty around what this idea is. Aren't we selling ourselves short in terms of what we should be getting? Like we're going to take these guys right out of the out of the basement into the, the just faster. They'll get there. It's just faster. You think so? Man, these guys are really thinking this out. This is, they're not acting. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Your Princeton background's gonna come in handy here because it's a little on. tricky. Let me give him a note in the paper here. <laughs> okay. You ready? There's okay. four offers. Four? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so the first offer is the 100,000 
from Arlene and me. The second offer is the 100,000 from Kevin. Okay. The third offer is the 100,000 from Jim and Bruce. And then the fourth offer I is- I forgot the NBA. I, I forgot that he guarantees the oh, NBA. There we go. Yeah, you have to maybe discount that guarantee a tad. And the, <laughs> the, the fourth offer is all of us coming in together. We finance you though to a heavier degree. We're gonna give you 50,000 each, 250,000 in total. And we want 33 and a third percent of the company. And we'll bring all of the things we've spoken about to the table and more capital, but for a higher percentage and a slightly lower valuation, not dramatically lower. Um, yeah, I think immediately we're both in agreement. Everybody here brings something excellent to the table and that's why we came here in the first place. And the opportunity to have all of you working together, I think it's just a perfect opportunity and we would love to be a part of it and work with you guys the, the last offer. Good. Fantastic. That's great. Let's do that. Fist pump. <laughs> hey, 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 yeah. I get to work. Hey. Watch my ring. Nice <laughs> All right. Got a girl, Mickey. Go Team Dragons. Here he comes again. He loves this. He loves this part. Next up, three friends from Toronto who hope a smashing demonstration will break the ice. Excellent. I love hockey. Hello, Dragons. My name is Daniel Palumbo. Mario Cizlak. And I'm Daniel Lucchese. Today, we're here to present to you an opportunity to invest in a game-changing hockey stick product, the Colt Hockey Stick. We are offering 20% equity of our company for a $500,000 investment. Dragons, a major issue in hockey today is that composite sticks are breaking at an alarming rate. In a single hockey game, you'll likely see multiple sticks break, often at the most inopportune times. These sticks aren't cheap. They range from two to $300. They're breaking at an alarming rate? It yeah. is alarming if you're the parent paying for it. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Dragons, we've invented a high-performance hockey stick that lasts several times longer than the best sticks on the market today. What Colt Hockey has done is coat a carbon fiber stick with a very thin layer of nanometal, which in itself is incredibly strong and very light. We actually have a demonstration here that will show you how strong the Colt is in comparison to an elite composite. But before we begin, I have to hand out some protective eyewear, if possible. Yeah, good idea. The coating is mostly composed of a nickel alloy, which the partners say makes the sticks last two to three times longer than the competition. Jim, I believe you're left-handed. Thank you. There you are. Thank you so much. No problem. Cold hockey sticks retail online for $269. So Mario has in his hands a elite composite stick. Let's see how it stands up against impact force. Yeah. Don't break the net. Pretty well. Oh! Three times you're out. So now Mario has a cold hockey stick. It's just as light and flexible as the previous composite, but let's see how it stands up against the same impact force. Might break the net, we're not sure. <laughs> So as you can see, it's held up extremely well. Can I try on the net one? Sure. Yeah. We'd like to put a couple dragons oh, down. Go. Yeah, the vibration might get you. Oh! I know vibration, eh? That's good. That's impressive, guys. We can get rid of the glasses. We're all done. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. I think I'm going to keep my safety glasses on because your valuation's so dangerous. <laughs> How did you guys even find the manufacturer and decide to do this? I actually found an article in the National Post that featured this ping pong ball yep. that our manufacturing company had coated with the nano nickel cobalt alloy. Yep. A normal ping pong ball would be crushed under the pressure of your own yep. hand, but this one withstands hundreds of pounds of force and can't be broken under human weight. So we saw the <laughs> amazing efforts being applied in this field and decided to approach the manufacturing company. And of course they were hesitant at first being approached by you know, 20-something yeah. yeah. gentlemen. Um, I would redo. <laughs> exactly. I love that you guys saw the article, saw the technology and said, hey, let's innovate in a, in a market that hasn't been innovated for exactly. so long. I mean, hockey sticks have been exactly pretty much Since the same. Since the opposites came out. Yeah. yeah. I commend you guys. You guys fantastic. are good Fantastic. Thank you. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you. How many have you sold of these? We've only been shipping our product for three months. And in that time, we've already sold and distributed over 1,000 products and generated $255,000 in revenue. We're projecting by the end of this season, we would have uh, earned about $500,000 in revenue with profit of $100,000. So it still takes me a long way to get to the two million. 20 times. 
Arlene would be 84, I'd be 102. When I got my money back. Oh, oh, hey, oh okay. that's <laughs> We're in a high growth industry that's going through flux right now. We're already projecting that for next season we'll sell about 7,500 sticks. Have you got an endorsement? We don't have an endorsement now, and the reason that we don't, we've had contact with over 10 NHL players. Yeah. The reason we haven't is because of their very specific uh, specifications yep. for the stick. So in the first three months, we weren't ready to produce that. However, right now, we're ready to execute on endorsement deals and produce a stick that is fit for an NHL or high-level game. The IP, the intellectual property of yes. this, do you own it and did you create it? No, our manufacturing partner has internationally patented the process and has been using the technology in high demand areas of aerospace as well as various military applications. So what are we buying here? So we have a 15 year exclusivity with them. Have you guys built in an automatic renewal to the 15 year uh, deal? We have not. Two million bucks, jeez. First, I want to say I commend you guys. You guys have done a lot of things at your age, but I never buy anything that has an expiry date. The expiry date is 15 years. Without a renewal, I think it's going to be difficult. For that reason, I'm out. I love the fact that you're so young and you created this hockey stick, which is great for parents, but I'm really not going to take a shot at something like this. But I think Jim should definitely get himself in there. What do you think, Jim? Don't know. Don't know. I like the stick. I think you've done a great job on it. Um, there's two guys I would take it to. One is a guy that's in the National Hockey League, and another guy plays for the Montreal Canadiens. That's a good friend of mine, and I would love to see him try this and just see what his reaction is to it. What do you uh, think, you know? Jim? What do you think? Boy. I would offer you 50% of your business. Are there any other offers before we consider Jim's? Yeah, I think Arlene and I are interested in coming in together. Okay. And uh, we'd like to do it at 49%. We want you guys to stay in control of the company, run the ship, and we'll throw ourselves behind it, help you on the endorsement front and every other way we can. Oh, we're not in the, you know, hockey candy. We do know a lot of players. Arlene dates several former NHL players. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we're just going to speak to our consultant very quickly and we'll if be right back. Mind. Thank you very much. We have two offers right now. Okay. I want you. No, they're not. They're not going to do that. Yeah, they do. Jim probably has more connections in the NHL. Arlene has the marketing expertise. Gentlemen, Colts. Oh, we're. Uh, 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 I am going to stick handle this one. Have you made your decision? Yes, we have. Jim, while we appreciate your offer, um, we will respectfully decline and in favor of, in favor of yours. Wow, wow. I, I, was, I thought wow. the other way. Wow. You saved your 1%. Well done. Wow. Thank you guys so much. Very cool. Thank you very, very much. Excited. Pleasure. You guys are it's awesome. Way to go, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Come on, Shelly. One shot. I feel bad for you. Over there, I don't feel bad at all. But I saved a half million bucks. That's true. It's a goal scorer. Oh, you win the game.